We're here at Office Max getting the back to school deals. The Office Depot ruled index cards and the blank ones are penny a pack, limit of three. Clear pencil boxes are a penny each. Paper folders and the paper folders with the prongs are a penny each. This is a limit of ten. Office Depot mechanical pencils are a penny a pack. This is a six pack. Twelve counts of Crayola colored pencils are fifty cents a package. You need to make a five dollar minimum purchase to be able to get all these penny deals. So these Lexar jump drives are the perfect thing to pick up. This one is the one we're getting. Regular price is $24.99. $6.99 is the price. Awesome deals. So you saw my favorite deals in store, but my camera died so I couldn't point out my most favorite deal that Office Max ever offers the Duracell batteries. Now we have the opportunity to buy the 16 pack of AA or AAA batteries for $13.99. You get a limit of two per member. You are going to get a $13.98 rebate back on your two packs of batteries. So you're going to pay $27.98 out of pocket and then next month you're going to get a rebate emailed to you and it's going to be for $27.96. That is an unbeatable way to buy batteries. I just, I love that deal. And in the past, Office Max has had the batteries deal consecutive weeks when it's time for back to school. So hopefully they'll do that again this year. But we'll just have to wait and see. Wait till Friday night when the ad gets posted online and see what Sunday sale brings. Now, I added up everything that I have here on my table and compared it to what I would have paid at Walmart. I used prices from Walmart.com and just some of the store prices that I that I know. Um, at Walmart, all of these, there's there are 25 items here. These items would have costed between $70 and $78 if I purchased them in the store. Walmart did not have this exact brand of um, jump drive. So I just compared the prices of some of the ones they had on sale that are 32 gigabyte jump drives, flash drives, and came up with $55.83 for everything and then um, between $70 and $78 when you add in the flash drive. Now the, um, the batteries at Walmart are $10.97 for a 16 pack. So they're, they're higher at Office Max, $13.99. But I cannot get a nearly 100% rebate back from Walmart on these batteries. So $13.99, that's what they cost me out of pocket, yes. But I'm getting that rebate back and that is what sells these to me. This is why I buy them. Now, you had to have, whenever you're buying these penny items, these are all penny items, you have to hit a $5 minimum. You can use this as your $5 minimum, $13.99 right here for just one. So you can use something you're getting a rebate on. You can use something that you need. We definitely use these around here at our house. I shopped two weeks ago. I didn't get to shop last week. But I shopped two weeks ago and bought an ink cartridge because I had run out of one of my ink cartridges. So buy something you need. It's easy to hit a $5 minimum. This no minimum was required to buy to get the 50 cents deal on the Crayola pencils. So this um, video, the point of this video is to highlight the penny deals at Office Max and to prove without a shadow of a doubt that office supply stores are the cheapest way to buy back to school items. You're not going to save a lot if you shop at Walmart. You're going to spend a lot more money, at least $40 more compared to what I spent here not to mention the rebates that I'm going to get. So finally, after all the rebates, I'll have spent you know, $3 out of pocket. I don't really count it that way. I say I spent $30.92. I'm going to get $27.96 uh, uh, back, and I'm going to be able to put that towards more back to school or more um, schoolroom needs, printer needs, 
whatever I need to buy from Office Max. So it's definitely a lot cheaper with, with no arguments allowed. <laughs> it's much cheaper to shop at the Office Supply Store. So don't miss out on these deals that you can get. Don't be misled into believing that um, Walmart is cheaper to buy because it's not. And I'm going to post my um, uh, my uh, list that I printed up right here. And I'm going to post my back to school shopping list, shopping price list also at the end of this video. So if you have any questions, please comment below.